this will be identified as well. So repeat the question again. How are, to, how are you going to reduce the mistakes while in this way yeah. and to do more right things? There are Bismillah Rahman Rahim. There are so many ways that you can do it. I'm looking to see what is the way that is most necessary right now, especially for the person who asked the question. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Be busy with other things. Be busy with some work. A lot of the times you make the mistake because you have too much time. Correct? When you have too much time, you have nothing to do, you're just talking about it, right? Then that's when the shaitan, hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And you say, yeah, why not? I have time. He's always saying that every day when he wakes up, he has a list of things that he has to do. And I was very happy because I used to do that a lot. I still do. Planning the day. Because wasting it is haram and to waste time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing on time, it is more haram. So, when you are in that habit, you wake up you know, in the way of Allah, in this way, and you say, now I have to do this, I have to pray, I have to fix something connected to this way, I have to spend time with the family like this, I have to go to work like this. You are concentrating now, you're making intention to do all those things for the sake of Allah. You're not making intention to do wrong things. Don't wake up with the intention to do wrong things. Just by having good intentions, you're going to get rewarded from that. And stick to the plan that you have. Make your day to be busy running in the service of Allah. That time your mind is not going to run away somewhere. Because you say, I have to finish this by this time, I have to do this, I have to speak to this person, I have to do Everyone, you will have things to do. If you listen to your heart and you ask, what is it that I can do for the sake of Allah? Whether you're in the dargah or whether you're in dargah somewhere else, or if you're not in the dargah. Maybe you're saying, I'm just going to read something the history of Sahabi Kiram. Maybe I'm just going to read something about the history of the Ottomans. Maybe I'm going to look at something. But you keep your day full like that. And every day is going to be slightly different. That way you have a mistake. You're trying to fix it. You keep yourself busy. You keep yourself distracted because the ego now it is worse than any animal. But the animal, one of the ways that you can control an animal, it is when you distract it. Correct? You distract it. You don't try to uh, attack it. You let it to become what? In gaflet. Our ego is like that. Sometimes, when you think wrong things, whether it is depression or sadness or thinking wrong things, sit and watch yourself thinking. Sometimes it comes very strong, but most times it comes in and out. You never stay there for 10 minutes, half hour, just on one wrong thing that you're thinking. It comes in and out because that is the nature of whispering. It is soft. It is near, it is soft, but it goes in and out. What makes you to now take that whispering and to make it into a reality is when you give it a lot of attention. 
sometimes no longer the whispering is there, but you want to hear it in your mind over and over again. You are the one taking it and stretching it and making it to become more than what it is. Because sometimes you notice yourself, when even when you think wrong things, it goes in, okay, uh, then suddenly you get distracted with something else. Correct? And they say, oh, no, 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 I'm supposed to be sad. So you go back to it again. And then you become sad, you're thinking, thinking, then something else happens. And then you say, no, 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 I have to. No. All those other times, it is not coming from shaitan, really. It is coming from you. Shaitan already put the seed there. You are the one who's making it to grow. Now, that kind of distraction is coming from Rahmani. It's making you to move away from the wrong side to the right side. Be aware of that. When you are a little bit more aware of that, then you're not going to take it so seriously. You know it's going to come, it's going to go. Then you're going to know, okay, I feel like this. You have to be honest with yourself. Do you like this or you don't like this? Do you want to be in this kind of situation or not? Only you can answer it. But some people, they want to. So even if Rahmani distractions happening, they push it away because, no, I want to be sad. No, I want to be bad. I want to be like this. I want to be like that. You are the one making the decision. That's why in the Day of Judgment, Shaitan is going to say to Allah, I never force anyone to do anything. I did not take a gun to put it to his head to force him to do anything. I just whisper. Now you know what? Allah is also whispering to us. Allah is nearer to us than Shaitan. Allah is nearer to us than a jugular vein. And Allah is saying in that same ayat, He's whispering to our soul. The whisperings of shaitan, sometimes it can get really loud. But there are so many things that is happening to you in the day that can make you to forget. Whatever it is, everyone, like this or like that, they go to sleep. They forget about it. All that burden, the sheikh comes and he takes it. And you can wake up more refreshed. Otherwise, with all the burdens of the past day, you're going to be crushed. You cannot move from the next day. That way, slowly, you understand the method of your ego, the methods of shaitan. And they have a method. They are not that original. They are not that uh, unpredictable. It is very predictable. The thing is whether you like it or you don't like it. You want it or you don't want it. If you say, no, I want it, because a lot of people, they want to be depressed. They want to. because. Not wanting means that there is a choice that is given and you choose that. If there's no choice to be given, that's something else, but there are choices. Make the right choice. That time when you're distracted, at least you're not going to make that same mistake over and over again with the same kind of frequency. Hmm? Certain things Maybe for the rest of your life, you're going to carry certain things. It's never going to go away, maybe. But know that Allah has the power to change it. And in so many ways, if that makes a servant to run to his master and to beg for Allah's forgiveness because he's saying, I still cannot get rid of this, that itself in some ways, it is a mercy because you're always asking Allah. So many times when Allah gives what we want, we forget Him. Yes, even about the ego. You start thinking that you're a good one, you're the best one, you're without any mistakes. Past mistakes you don't remember. You say, oh, it's all finished. Right now, I've finished with all those things I'm not doing. You start seeing yourself as proud, as arrogant, as someone who has achieved something. But the purpose of servanthood is to understand that you are a servant and you're always in need. You're always weak. Use that then. Use 
the mistakes that you have as a weakness and say to Allah, I'm your weak servant and I'm asking you because all power and all help is only coming from you. And of course, when you have the opportunity, you're going to be in the Jamaat that can make that distraction even better, that can pull you away from your ego, away from yourself, that you breathe a little bit more free. Huh? When you are not here doing so many things, when you're at home, all these things, it bothers you every day. You, what else is there to do? You're going to go outside. What is it outside? You look 99.9% .9 of the time, no one is pleasing Allah, what they're doing. It's not reminding you of Allah, not reminding you of death. I'm not talking also about unbelievers, I'm talking about believers. You go home, everyone entering into their own rooms, having their own lives. What are you going to do? You turn on the TV, it's a sewer channel. So you're always feeling very tight. Then from that tightness, you will get more angry, more agitated, because your spirit is not free. That's why in the old days, there are dargahs everywhere, to run away from this world. And then to come to the dargah and just breathe free, to step here is going to bring blessings to you. The air is different, the water is definitely different, and the sun is different. It hits you in different ways. Ways you understand, ways you don't understand. Your sleep is different. You become recharged. Now if you do ibadat, if you do worship on top of that, you're going to get even more faith. But even just walking, Chef Andy told me one time, says a person just, if he knows, just by walking on this land how much blessings is going to come, he's going to walk everywhere. He's going to do everything. One of the branches of faith, ah, this is something that the Wahhabis, they cannot deny. Islam is divided into 73 branches. What is the first branch, the most important one? It is to say, La ilaha illallah. And the last, the 73rd branch, it is to remove something harmful in the way. Whether like it is a stone that is in the way on the road, piece of wood, something that is harmful there, you're removing it. There is a physical way that you're removing the harm. Now, there is also the way, spiritually, that you're helping to remove the harm from that way, spiritually. That is a branch of faith. So which means that if you say La ilaha illallah night time, that we are making a zikr, and the morning time you get up and you work, yes, you even go to the barn to help. You are fulfilling now. Between that and that, all 73 branches of faith. You don't have to know too much, you don't have to study too much, but you're doing it. You're doing it. Inshallah, may Allah accept it, inshallah. You understand? Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.